today's video we're going to be testing out 30 second cleaner. Now this stuff has a big reputation, it's supposed to be fast and easy, and it's not going to get any easier than this bottle. You just screw it on your garden hose, spray it on what you want to clean, and it's supposed to do all the work for you. And this was not a sponsor video in any way, I just want to see if this stuff actually worked and was it any good. Now I'm going to control the flow of water with that valve I've got on the end of the hose, but if you don't have one of those, the bottle is actually a built-in valve. You can set it to three different positions, it's got off, cleaning mode, and then just water for rinsing off. This bottle's got another cool trick that a lot of people miss. This red plug in the end is actually a spray nozzle. You're going to leave it in place if you're going to spray things like furniture or items that are close up, but if you remove it, it gives you kind of a jet stream, and supposedly you can hit a second floor in your house, and that's going to be perfect if you're doing something like vinyl siding or windows. For this test, I'm going to be cleaning my outdoor furniture. This stuff is white plastic, and this stuff gets really nasty. I've got algae, mildew, and the worst part is it's only been about six months since I last cleaned this stuff, and I don't know what's changed in the air, but we get mold and mildew all the time now on anything plastic that goes outside. Since I'm going to be spraying ground level stuff, I'm going to leave this red plug in place, and that's going to give me more of a spray pattern to apply this stuff evenly. But there's another trick you want to be aware of. This is a bleach based cleaner, and even though that's great for killing things like mold and mildew, you don't want to damage your grass or other plants. So an easy trick to make sure you don't hurt anything else is to just spray plain water on anything you don't want to clean. So in my case, I've got the furniture, but I don't want to kind of bleach out the patio or kill the grass. So if any cleaner gets on them, that extra water is going to dilute it and it shouldn't cause you any problems. Now the rest is easy, just set that nozzle to the clean position, and now when you spray you're going to be applying the chemical and a little bit of water, but it does all the mixing for you automatically. Now in my case, I'm going to spray my table, my chairs, and you want to make sure that you're coating everything thoroughly. Now the one thing I didn't like about this stuff is I ran through the bottle really fast. In fact, I was able to clean all my furniture except for a single chair. So at this point I sat back and waited, but honestly after about 30 seconds I didn't really see much of a difference, and if you read up online you're going to see that most people tell you to leave this stuff applied for at least 5 minutes. And now after 5 minutes of waiting, I grab my garden hose because you want to spray everything off with clean water. I'm not using a pressure washer and I didn't scrub anything at all. And these results are looking really good, you can see in this chair this thing is looking bright white, and there's only one small spot of mildew left. And I suspect that's probably an area that I didn't spray completely. Now this table is a little bit older, and it's definitely got some type of pores, and you can still see the little bit of mold in the center of some of those areas. But overall, if you look at the before, there's a big difference in this table. And the rest of the furniture was the same, the dock box looked brand new, even these chase lounges had no mold or mildew left. In fact, the only area that I saw anything on was this final chair that unfortunately I ran out of cleaner, and you can see how bad this thing really looked. But this 30 second cleaner has another secret, and I learned about this from some of my viewers. Somehow this stuff continues killing things that are on the surface, and you're going to notice the next day that things look even brighter. This stuff also works really well on garage doors, it brightens them up, and somehow it doesn't seem to cause any damage to other surfaces. And while $15 a bottle certainly isn't cheap, considering I could clean all this furniture without a pressure washer and no scrubbing, I am definitely satisfied with the result. I've shown you guys a lot of different cleaners on my channel, I try to find products that really do a good job and they're easy to work with. Now they're not always the cheapest, so if you've got something that you like to use, be sure to leave me a comment below. And I hope you liked this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.